Since we have already covered the top of the line Be Quiet Sounding 4 Pro a few weeks ago, now it's time to get back into the regular world where fans are not spinning fast enough to grind your own hand. Meet the quickest version of the regular non-pro Sounding 4 line, the Be Quiet Sounding 4 120mm PVM high speed. Wow, those names are long. Unlike the previous generation Sounding 3 high speed, the new fourth iteration spins at max 2500 rpm while pushing 76.7 CFM at 3.96 mm of H2O. Compared to the older one, this gives us 3.37 CFM at 0.59 mm of H2O advantage. And although 3 CFM isn't a lot, half a millimeter of water is kind of a lot. Ignoring the RPM difference for a second, these advantages mainly stem from the new fan wing design that be quite applied on here. For like I don't even know, the last two decades, Be Quiet had a design with seven very big but just slightly bent wings. Although this was very good at the time, with advances in cases, thicker radiators and heat sinks and the addition of air filters, the efficiency of that design started to decline over time. Sure, Be Quiet started to implement changes with every uh, iteration, like some weird octagonal inlet design and all other sorts of things, but on benchmark charts, they just didn't didn't seem to be able to keep up with the competition in areas other than inside a case with a very very good airflow design. So a change was due. Now we have a 9 wing design with a lot smaller wings but bent in a very aggressive way, clearly aimed at pushing the air a lot harder, thus 0.5 millimeters of water increase. Additionally, Be Quiet also ditched the octagonal thing for a regular round inlet and outlet and enlarged the central area with an all new matte black logo slapped on top, which by the way I believe looks awesome. How all of these changes ended up performing in a real world environment we will see later on in the benchmark section, but before Let's finish up the fan. Although there are many changes made, the packaging really ain't one of them. The Sunwing 4 high speeds come in the usual Be Quiet styled box, a bunch of imagery, some short specs, and inside we'll find two separate boxes, one containing the fan and the other one a bunch of accessories. Again, similarly to the older Sunwing 3s, the new 4s will have a separate pair of mounting edges for regular fan screws. But unlike the original one, removing them is as easy as pressing on the edges with with two fingers and pulling them away. And then just press the new ones on, very very easy, not at all hurtful. And then you can take the usual fan screws and just install it on top of uh, whatever you want and even on a radiator you can also do that. The mounting edge system that comes pre-installed are the push pin edges. These can be used by simply positioning the fan wherever you want to and of course mind you a case and pressing the pins in from the other side. Very easy and they will keep in place surprisingly well I must admit. As a small detail which is very very poorly explained, like I, I saw it on some random PDF that they sent me and I never found it again, the push pin edges are reversible but they they are not identical. One of them is marked with an S and the other one is marked with an L. Though I'm not sure what those means, space and low, I don't know, but the L side has a tiny piece of rubber sticking out, meaning that if you would install the fan, for example, in the back of the case with the L side going behind the fan as it is originally like put on out of the box, you would create a tiny tiny gap between the fan and the case. And by reversing those, you would take away that gap and make the fan completely stick to the mesh filter. Now although that gap will not have any performance difference or benefit, it is the gap is way too small for that, it can do a lot regarding noise. There are instances where a specific combination of a fan blade design and a mesh filter can produce a, a horrible sound. As the best example be a noise blocker fan. If you snap that on top of any mesh filter, it will sound horrible. Therefore, also with noise blockers, you have some sort of like rubber pieces that you can, can put on the edge of the, of the fan, creating that little gap and taking away that noise. Therefore, if you experience horrible sound, make sure that the knob is in between the fan and the mesh filter. Can happen and this is the solution. As a last mini point, we have a 4 pin PVM cable that the fan is powered by. It looks identical to the previous version at 500mm and some random sleeve on top, but considering that I know how the Proline PVM cable looks, I am kind of sad because the Proline is just straight out of heaven. This is okay, but the Proline is just 
And with that said, let's get to the benchmarks. While slapping them onto our standard fan benchmark system, the Be Quiet Silent Ring 4 high speed at 2500 RPM managed to keep the CPU at 40 degrees C above ambient, 2 degrees behind the Pro line, and 2 degrees ahead of the previous Silent Ring 3 high speed. Compared to the competition for a similar use case, we are looking at 3 degrees C behind the Noctua nf 8 x 25 and a solid 7 degrees C in front of the Arctic Bionics P120s and 5 degrees in front of the Cooler Master SF120M. So overall, a very, very solid stand. In the upper quarter, actually, and the only ones that are even able to compete are other top-of-the-line high-end models. Interesting to note though is that Be Quiet's own Lightwings 120mm high speed spinning at the same speed can keep up with them at the same level. Over on the noise to performance side, it's time to shine for Be Quiet because their silent wings were always about efficiency, not just raw brute force, except for the pros. They are brute force. Here, the first thing we wanted to note is that we can immediately see that the Silent Ring 4 High Speed and Pro 4 are basically the same fan, just that the Pro line can keep up a bit longer, pushing the temperature further down. Ignoring a few measuring margins here and there, everything seems to be in line. In comparison to the previous generation Silent Ring 3s, the new 4s made a huge leap. Not only do they go a bit lower, but at the same time they can do it a lot quieter all across the board. No matter what you favor, in your life, noise or performance, the fourth generation is just better at. Compared to the competition, the Silent Wing 4 high speed ended up in a very, very solid position. At max fan speed, they beat the Bionics P120s and P12s. From there, once you turn down the fan speed, the Schooler Master SF120M starts off at about 80% of the Silent Wing 4's max fan speed. However, after you lower everything a bit more, the Silent Wing 4's efficiency starts to kick in and create a gap that becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. In fact, the gap became, becomes so big that the Silent Ring 4s even managed to beat the Noctua NF-A12X25 at 25% fan speed, an extremely good result. So, from a performance standpoint, the new Silent Ring 4 high speed turned out to be very, very good. Not quite on the Noctua NH8 12x25 level, but definitely a lot better than the previous generation and beating most if not all existing fans out there in a general case fan environment. Compared to the Pro line of them, it's basically the same thing. Sure, there are design differences due to the radiator mounting edges and the improved PVM cable, but as far as case use cases go, you will not need more than what the regular high speed lineup has to offer. Design wise, absolutely my thing, all black all mad, that's really what, what gets me. But, you know, decide for yourself. On the price side, they are quite new, so things can settle, but I've seen them floating around 21 euros per piece, which makes them about 6 euros more affordable than the Noctua NF-A12X25 alternatives, which was quite the shock for me at first. Um, this kind of gave them the price to performance benefit, which is kind of weird at that price tag, but uh, yeah, not bad. So yeah, for anybody that is looking for one of the best cases fans out there, which also looks quite nice, and it is going for around 20 euros, here you go. But okay, this should be it for Be Quiet and their new Silent Wing 4 high speed. At this point, a huge thank you to Be Quiet for sending them over, and of course, we will also cover the non-high speed regular PVM one spinning at uh, 1600 RPM, I believe. That one is going to be interesting, believe me. But until then, have a look at our take on the Pro lineup. I loved it and I would always choose that one. On a side note, we now also have channel memberships, so if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to buy a goat for our lord and savior Cthulhu. Apparently, the horse wasn't good enough, um, and now he's angry. Anyway, thank you for watching it, hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.